WCSM's general store is recorded at 70X7 Studios. WCSM is brought to you by Chad's Express Lube and Car Care Center. Christine Flynn, your local farmer's insurance agent. For Good Reasons Roofing, your hometown roofing specialist. The AME Group, for all your technology and computer needs. And by Sanders Insurance, your independent insurance experts. And now, WCSM's General Store Crew. Well, good Friday afternoon to you. It's another conversation coming to you from uh, WCSM's General Store. We are at the 70X7 studio, courtesy of producer Mike Richardson hey. and also Carter over there. Say hey. Hey, hey, hey Goober. Hey to the hey boys. To Goober. Yeah, well. <laughs> Hey boys. Yeah, okay. Uh, they're they're I waving. Hear. Okay, Mike says hi. I hear Carter you. says hey. I hear you. Right. Goober says hey. <laughs> hey to Goober. Hey to Goober. <laughs> well, uh, we're glad that you're with us today. So, um, let's say let's say hey to our uh, good old boys and good old girls. We first. could do that. Top fans this week include Fritzy Phillips, who's on an 11 week streak. Wow. You know. Way to go, Fritzy. Jackie Rats Evans, also John Baker, Adam Singleton makes the list again. Dave Stapp, who was one of our trivia tuesday trivia winner oh yes earlier yeah. maybe a couple weeks ago also debbie taylor still on the list danny todd yeah good old danny dave oh, labrash really oh. that's missy's husband okay oh. he has yep. gone around he, her he's in the ring showing up i bet there's a we don't is no. there a fight at the house we want to know <laughs> i don't know I i'll don't let know. you know saturday please let okay, us know good, good. we want to know wcsm general store is not responsible for these rankings exactly right so but we love them <laughs> anyway thank you dave jane hanser carter Longgardner making the list again carter. way to go carter jeremy williams engaging also marcy cripps john hooker valinda laird missy panko labrash there she comes go. in there also bill babcock danny chitwood robert lutz libby raider kathy martinick margaret rocky Love Margaret Rocky and Joshua Coons. Very that good. Rounds Thank it you out so much. Yeah. Bill Babcock was a classmate of mine. Film. So yeah. Carter uh, is very engaging. I mean, he was engaging anyway. Before he was this. just engaging, but now he's right. actually engaging with us. So mm-hmm. very nice. We he's doing a great that. job. He's giving us a thumbs up big, over there. The big old thumbs up. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, we started this uh, a few weeks back and we enjoyed it so much that we thought we'd stick with it, or at least while there's plenty of national holidays which right. i think they're i don't they, know who no comes, no these are legit these yeah, are completely, completely legit. legit i don't That's, know who comes up yeah, with this stuff yeah. but here we go so today is <laughs> national spouses day which mm. sounds to me like a, just another opportunity to sell hallmark cards mm-hmm. you know valentine's day okay. now there's national you know they don't have day. to be hallmark right you can get you the can, cheapo ones. that's right which is what i do <laughs> so box, huh? when yeah, i even okay. buy cards i go to the dollar tree <laughs> right uh While the exact origins of National Spouses Day are unknown, it probably was inspired by the creation of Military Spouses Day uh, in 1984. So Hmm. I'm good with that, though. So so that's pretty cool. That does make sense. But I've never heard of National Spouses Day. Still doesn't affect me. Well, the spouse day does. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Now, this one... This one I can get behind. National Fun at Work Day. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Never had it. Yeah. Absolutely. So, I, yeah, I'm not sure. Now, remember when we used to talk about the ditching crews? Yes. At, at the station? That's another, Is that they part another of option. Have fun at work? Yeah, they have fun at work. No question. That's another remember, option for yeah. them. So, the highway department has yes. a ditching crew. Right? Yes. We always love that. So, that's that's their day. National right. Fun at Work Day. <laughs> National Green Juice Day. Oh. Now, who comes up with this? Come on. I don't know. And then International Customs Day and <laughs> National Peanut Brittle Day. Do any of you like peanut brittle? I love it. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. It's dangerous. My, it's I do love it. Teeth, I mean, it's dangerous, yeah, hard, yeah. In more ways than one, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, my dad used to love... Yeah, you can knock out a tooth or two with that thing. Actually. Yeah, my dad yeah. used to love uh, peanut brittle, yeah. but I It's never, addictive. I never really, uh, I never really understood it. But anyway, you didn't like it. No, no. Okay, still don't. Well, that's okay. But I'll eat canned meat. So go figure. The, <laughs> back to the green juice. Does Mountain Dew count for that? Can we? Well, if yeah. well I mean, we if, you wanna, if you want to, if you want to call Mountain Dew green juice. I mean, I'm against uh, no. probably You're against green it? juice type, <laughs> if you will. Yes, but. I don't know what green juice would be like. Maybe I'm thinking uh, something out of a blender. Yeah, like a smoothie or some of some sort. I'm just not thinking that that's that's what I want to be doing. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not for green juice. If I'm for orange juice. Is that well, now I lemon have, juice? I've made smoothies at home yeah. and put spinach in it, which turns it green, and they're okay. really good. 
Mm. So spinach. In. But I can see by the look on your face that you're not going <laughs> to no. take. You're not going to try it and just take my uh, word for it. Popeye so. juice. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Right. Yeah, it's it pretty good. It's a great cart- cartoon. Anyway. Okay. Speaking of green, great seg- segue. I think here. Uh, you, uh, just so you know, they don't normally. They don't typically know what I'm what the topic is going to be i just kind of throw stuff at them like, years, never. Yeah, for no. 20. and you know what's weird about this is 20 years we've never i don't think we've ever discussed i'm not this. sure you know what we're going to talk about <laughs> i do now on the radio you're right i remember because no a lot of times oh, on the like, radio i was what like wanna, what do you want to talk about do t- <laughs> i don't know what do you want to talk about I don't but care. so <laughs> speaking of green i wanted to see i wanted to have a conversation about little green men So, um, <laughs> UFOs, oh. extraterrestrials, mm. all the things, whatever they're, they're not even calling them, yeah. they're calling them what, UAPs now, Un- or, uh, unidentified I'm not even going something to phenomenon, I don't know <laughs> yeah. what it is, but anyway, but beyond so my pay grade. I can remember when I was little, my dad was all about the UFOs, I mean like he was... Well, they got quite, quite popular in the 70s. Yes, they did. It really did. Mm-hmm. It, kind, it kind of goes like Bigfoot. You know, there's yes. these <laughs> sightings, all of a sudden everybody gets yes. on board. Will right. and Roswell and, you know, <laughs> right. all that stuff, which right. was what, in the 50s, I think? I think so. Yeah. Late 50s. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and then it kind of died down yeah. for several decades. It is all over the place now. Like, it, they're talking about it all the time. People are really all in. I find it really interesting. So, so where are y'all at on the whole? Like, uh, I want to know. I want to know, like, crazy or my planet won't let me answer that yeah. question. <laughs> <laughs> like Mork and Mindy, you know, uh, or so. Like, what do you guys? What are your thoughts about? Like, did you ever believe it, or did your? Or every time it comes up, do you go? Uh, huh. You so, know what I mean? I've <laughs> never been witness to anything, right? Phenomenal. Have you? Ever? No. Uh-uh. Okay. So, but I watched a movie one time. I, I've seen, li- I've seen I saw lights ET, I couldn't but... identify. So, and it was flying. That's close. So, you I have? Mean, yeah. So, I would say that's a UFO to me. I mean, it's an identified flying object, and that's the definition. I can't identify it, and it's flying. Okay, now wait. Right. So, you right. saw, what, were night, you on the ground? No, there was one night when I was probably about uh, sixth grade. My uncle and dad went outside, and we were watching this. And it's probably was a satellite now. Looking at it now, all oh, right. But it kept going back and forth and back and forth for no uh, reason. Was it fast it was, or just like no, 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 really? And uh, we never knew what that was. Now you know, with all the government things, it yeah. probably was something to deal with that. But I remember all being out there watching it, and we, it went. It did that for hours. Now, how mm. you were sixth grade. Probably. Probably, okay. In that area, yeah. They didn't have so satellites what, when you were in sixth grade, but. Yeah, I don't think so. It had to have been a UFO. Yeah. Sputnik was before me. Okay. You know, oh, just a little bit. Yeah. So, so, okay. so what did you, what do you. So, so here's the, here's the only connection I have to a UFO story and, and, and God rest her soul. My mother uh, was the, was the key of this. Um, we were living in Knightstown. Todd and I were watching afternoon cartoons. Do you remember when they would come on after school? And. Uh, for no apparent reason, I hate to quote Forrest Gump there, but right. the, the TV started doing the, the staticky thing. Oh. Right? So, of course, we call for mom. Hey, mom. Day or night? This is afternoon. Like, afternoon, okay. Yeah, so right. probably 4.30 or so. Mm-hmm. And uh, she couldn't get it to, to go back. All of a sudden, in it was our living room, and all of a sudden there were three little girls at the door just banging on the door trying to get in. They were completely just scared out of their minds just really completely mm-hmm. just completely scared out of their minds and uh, of course mom let him in and and got him calmed down and they said there's something going on out here mom stepped out in what she describes as a large are you kidding I'm me i'm not i'm not this is in the afternoon this wasn't even at night and when what age or oh, a decade gosh, probably like, 70s it was, it was 70s, in the 70s. Yeah, okay. it's probably 75 76 okay. when you have right folk, when you have folk talk was really hot yes yeah, yeah yes <laughs> when it was hot uh and she said it was followed by three and they were just hovering and <laughs> this is no joke she said this to the day she died basically when the big one took off the three followed that and gone disappeared like disappeared tv comes back on 
No. So now, That's wild. now she never wow. really shared that with anybody, right? Uh, for obvious reasons, right? right? Mm-hmm. I mean, back then you, you everybody know, think you're crazy. You're just crazy. Yeah. You're just crazy. <laughs> so, what it was, who knows? Could have been a satellite, three or four of them together. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? So how, know. like, like how low were they? I mean, like she could really see them, or were they I, like way up? And she, the way that she described them was, they were about the the how high up a helicopter would be. Oh, you know, not not. Yeah an airplane not like a 747 or anything that you'd have to way up and it'd be a little tiny it was yeah like what we saw was quite a ways up yeah you know it it, we first thought it was an airplane but it just kept going back and forth and back and forth making sense right Mm. really interesting so did she these little girls were terrified so did she describe like the shape of it or uh your mom yeah i mean just uh, she would always do this with the with the really big one and then the smaller ones were just like a button wow like buttons in the sky so when no so, i got another question mm-hmm. were these really three little girls no right <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of my that's kind of my thinking when you said that i'm like they disappear yeah, yeah i don't know yeah i don't know uh, and was that what really happened? my mom what <laughs> happened to the, what happened to the three know. little girls that's I, what I, but you were there i I was there, but I don't know that I remember it from me or if I remember it from her. Well, they do that Tell to me. your memory. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's how it works. So I'm wondering when she told this story, like to your dad or yeah. whatever, like yeah. did everybody, was everybody like, just, okay, just, Doretta. Just dismissive. Just, it was, what are you going to do? I mean, right. it's the 70s. Who's going to believe you for one thing? You know, I don't uh, know. She may have made, there made wasn't, uh, Phil Donahue. Show. There wasn't yeah, take uh, those people. internet to get on, you know, right. and, and share and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, it is still kind of a, ooh. No, yeah. You know, it's, I think, like, well, she's just bringing it up because it's it's in the news more than ever. It's oh, yeah. really, like, because now. It started with the balloon like Air Force, up in Canada. <laughs> yeah, well, the Air Force and, like, Navy pilots are, like, whistleblowers now. You know They're coming out yeah. going, yep. no. I mean, like, these things are flying so fast. They can turn on a dime. They are flying underneath the water i mean the yeah. speed is unlike anything we've ever seen <laughs> and of course i'm a huge i'll own it huge tucker carlson fan yeah i saw and his tucker's talk like even like now going wait a minute he never believed in him and he's like there's something going on like this is yeah this is really really bizarre stuff and so he's even had some guests on that he's talked about what are your thoughts well, on the whole thing I have you ever know. had a con no i've never had any experience with him but congress is talking about him big time oh yeah oh, they're yeah. trying so, to release which kind of well and then the <laughs> latest thing is the miami mall have you heard about the miami yes mall? okay huh. Maybe we should discuss that. Yeah, we will. I we come it. back. Okay. After this mess. Well, so did you. Are you the host now? <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> so, so. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just wondering, um, but you've never had any sightings or. No. I not that he did. knows. I but in Congress, <laughs> there are, so. <laughs> there are people in Congress who are now fighting to have um, reports Right. made public like mm-hmm. they're saying this should be made public to the to the to the people you know sure. made public to the public I think. like yeah. i mean they should know what's going on and what yeah. do we know are you and ready for that are you ready that's what tucker i Carl- am but <laughs> i know what it but is but tucker carlson says okay we're not ready because he yes, says he now, knows things and yes he knows the public can't handle yes it. tucker carlson yeah. actually was in an interview before yeah, we go to break that. i'll say this real quick he said he has been he has seen some things that are confidential you know um and he said he hasn't even told his wife what he saw because they were so frightening and that he he now understands maybe maybe it would be too much for the general public to see what they know what Mm -hmm. what our government knows because it's it it scared him he like has a had a hard time sleeping after yeah I'm, i'm good so you can find out if you want. Yeah. Well, because I, I, I know what it is, but stay, stay, okay. stay tuned. Right, we'll go. talk about that coming up Uh-oh. after this break. The general store.
Farmers Insurance agent Christine Flynn put her experience to work for you. Christine Flynn proudly serves Monroe, Lawrence, and Greene County families and businesses and is ready to review your existing policies or provide a no-obligation quote today. Call Christine Flynn at 812-822-2905 to get smarter about your insurance. Again, that's Christine Flynn at 812-822-2905. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. Underwritten by Farmers, Truck Fire Insurance, Exchanges, and Affiliates. Products not available in every state. Chad's Express Lube and Car Care Center is the place that you need to go to keep your car running in perfect order. On the outside chance your car is not running in perfect order, Chad's has a shop over on State Road 46 in Ellisville that'll give you a free estimate and reasonable rates and get your car back on the road. Now, to keep it that way, you need to hightail it over to Chad's Express Lube and Car Care Center located at 1357 South Liberty Drive. You know exactly where that is. That's just right around the corner from Menards. Now, check this out. Every Every seventh oil change is free. That's right. Absolutely free. I don't think you can get any better than that. Chad's Express Lube and Car Care Center, 1357 South Liberty Drive in Bloomington. Four Good Reasons Roofing. The number four, goodreasons.com. They want to be your local hometown roofing specialist. Whether it's hail damage, storm damage, worn out, just plain old damage, or maybe it's new construction. Whatever your four reasons are to have a new roof, their four good reasons are honesty, integrity, quality, and kindness. Four Good Reasons Roofing. Give them a call, 812-360-4469. They will come and give you a free inspection and a transparent quote. You will be completely satisfied because the owner, Tony Pulliam, would not let it be anything less than your satisfaction. So look for them at 4goodreasons.com, the number 4, goodreasons.com, or call them today, 812-360-4469, 4 Good Reasons Roofing, your local hometown roofing specialist. All right, well, welcome back. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> to the spooky yeah. UFO alien episode. I've of, been under my chair for a little bit. Many, Thank you for yeah. helping me back You're up. Welcome. Many Sammy Terry films were made okay. up well, UFOs. <laughs> yeah, okay, so when we went to break, we were trying to fill Kurt in on the Miami Mall. Yes. If you have not seen the um, coverage of this, the the um, a mall in Miami... Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, maybe Mike can insert a little bit of uh, just a clip of it. There were like hundreds of cop cars show up at this, like sirens blaring at this mall in Miami. And supposedly the police said they were there because they had gotten a call that there were some teens at the mall who were fighting and were using sticks not even guns. So, but so there the, were hundreds of cop cars. So the police department didn't. I mean, they said, "Yeah, we were there." Oh yeah, it wasn't they, yeah, a yeah. But it of, wasn't oh, ignore that. that. But they, they had they AI had generated several, things and like that. Like several people who were there said, yeah. "No, they saw eight to ten foot tall figures, like stalking, walking around the mall." And so well, whether you know, or not they had that's a good true, deal. They had a I good deal down at Dillard's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that might have been it. <laughs> it's hard to find those large sizes. <laughs> at the big and tall store? Yeah. So that big was kind of... Big and gargantuan store. Yeah. So we... I've I don't know. There. I've I, been there before. When you need that triple E shoe that Travis Caray wears. You got, you know, there you go. I mean, <laughs> these guys were taller than you. Uh, wow. Oh my. So who knows? Wow. I don't know. All I know is... Um, um, Bigger than it's, March? Yes, it's pretty. It's, right. I think it's been really interesting now that all of the talk that's come out, uh, like we mentioned earlier, Tucker Carlson is really like a dog with a bone on this deal. And um, Mark was just commenting that he felt like Tucker is now questioning his own faith um, due to what he saw in classified documents regarding this apparently now in the interviews i've heard tucker do with some people yeah, that air force that. like like an elf like someone in the air force that was on committees or 
uh, he was one of the guys that um, saw behind the curtain, kind of, this guy was that, that Tucker interviewed. And he couldn't say a lot, but he said that they have, like, a, they have one. Hmm. Not the spacecraft, but the entity, the, the, being. the yeah. being, that our government has one. Mm-hmm. And so they know more than they're telling. Well, that was in Congress this summer. They, the guy said that, that they have it, that they have more, maybe more than one. And so Tucker Carlson's whole th- thing is, is if, <laughs> is if they, if our government is learning things that would make us, um, stronger militarily or as a country whatever then then the the general public needs to know you know what have they learned from all this that's kind of tucker's take yeah. on all this yeah my personal take on all this I, I don't, do, so do you believe that there is something out there any of you i definitely believe there's a possibility i do believe that because i mean uh the infinity that we see i mean there's obviously a chance that it could be Right. They, all the mathematicians and all the great scientists of our world say the odds are high that yeah. there are other living beings in the universe. Right. Now, you the know odds that, of them getting to our Earth and that right. type of thing, we don't know. You know that the Carpenters wrote a song in the 70s about this, right? Yes, 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 I know the song. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't think. Uh, it's calling occupants of yes. interplanetary Yes, yes, right? yes, yes. I don't feel that the Carpenters would have written a song about it had it not been a possibility. <laughs> yes. So that's where I'm putting So you're all, going with Karen and Richard. I'm going with Karen and Richard on this. Okay. Ca- all right. Hey, Carl Sagan says, of course there's other. <laughs> billions and billions. I mean, I think, are we that arrogant to think that we're it? Yeah, really. Really? Yeah. I mean, I... Mm-hmm. Well, here's what I believe to be true. Now, I don't, I'm, this is, I'm just going, I, of course, I always fall back to Scripture I believe that they are, um, I, I believe it's spirits, um, fallen angels, hmm. um, the Nephilim. I don't know if y'all are familiar with the Nephilim. So the Nephilim is, uh, they Nephilim show up before the flood, uh, where the sons of God, hmm. which are fallen angels, um, came and, um, I gotta watch what I how I say this so that YouTube don't shut this down because you kind of gotta watch the wording. But the <laughs> fallen angels, which are beings like spirits, right, um, had relations with human women and mm. had children. That's where the giants came from, mm. like Goliath. You know that like yeah. that's that's where they they came from was from the fallen angels. But, um. And then, and and that was why God chose Noah was because his bloodline was pure, and so uh, he he destroyed the rest of the earth. And because the bloodline has to be pure for Jesus, right? To you know what I mean? Like so. Th- so that's why it was Noah and his family. So this is that's where I'm thinking. I think that. It's all, it's good and evil. Like, you know, what does, and I've asked Carter this before. I always forget the, that we're, we're not wrestling against flesh. We're wrestling against principalities and, and powers of the air. Right. And so I believe that we are seeing things, but I don't believe they're aliens from space or like you're, you know, spaceman. I believe they're fallen angels, demons, demonic activity, uh, mm. so that's what I think it is. And I think that, the, but I do believe I, it's, I find it also odd that we're talking so much about this in the media now mm-hmm. that I think it'll be used to explain. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pre-trib. So pre-tribulation rapture. That's, that's what I believe that there'll be a rapture and that I think that's how they'll explain away millions of people being just disappeared off the earth that it's, Oh, the aliens, Hmm. Came in t- that's just my that's just my own yeah thought possible. process so and we talked during the break it's there's also a theory out here that this is our own people coming back in the time travel that's like interesting quantum leap hmm. that's no so kind of explain like you did a minute ago how because i was like how, what do you mean people from the future coming back so yeah they think that uh somehow and I, it's hard to explain because you're explaining something that's never been seen or heard of uh our evolution basically 
where we've out in space somewhere, we've figured out ways to space tra- time travel, mm-hmm. and they've come back to change things, help things, whatever. I don't know, but supposedly so they they people, are what we are evolving become. to become, yeah. or whatever yeah. is what you're right. You're so they're basically saying. coming back in, uh, time travelers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's DeLoreans somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, could in, be. And a flux draw. capacitor somewhere. There could be somewhere. a reason that the DeLorean was used in that movie. It could Uh-oh. be a foretelling of the future. Mm. So. <laughs> I need a chalkboard for this. Yeah. <laughs> I need docs. I'll tell you what, it is crazy. And, when they, when mathematicians is. and these guys get out and try to explain this, oh, uh, it, it's crazy. But yeah. they... they do have it figured out. I mean, uh, quantum physics and things. Mm-hmm. I have no. I can't comprehend. My well, it's brain. interesting that you mentioned the whole quantum physics and everything. Because I found this. He's a pastor out of. Um, I want to say Oklahoma. His name is Pastor Alan Nolan. You can find him on YouTube. He's with Cornerstone Fellowship. He did a four video series about this very thing, and he goes into the whole quantum, mm-hmm. the, the physics, and the the whole science side of it, right? But also scripture, uh, like the Nephilim unveiled, alien secrets revealed, aliens, UFOs, demons, fallen ones, uncovering great deception, UFOs in the end times. Anyway, he's he's done four different videos. I watched all of them, and they, and he uses scripture, but he also uses physics mm-hmm. and science also mm-hmm. to kind of explain everything. Very very good um, way of of explaining it uh he he does so i don't know if you're you're interested you can find him on youtube again it's pastor alan nolan uh a four-part series but really interesting i've always kind of or not always i used to think they were just little green men but in the last few years i've wondered if that's not what it was what what you know what if they are it's demonic activity that that we're seeing now because as we get closer to end times right things like that are going to the bible tells us that that we're going to be seeing things that are going to blow our minds you know and that you know don't make sense don't uh don't be afraid you know know, all those things all this stuff though i mean if if you just uh, to me and i joke about the carpenter song but i mean it's you know god's still on his throne absolutely right it doesn't matter how many demons, how many right. spirits, how many quantum leaps or, you know, anything right. like that. It's God God's is in still control. in control no matter what happens. So, I mean, Amen. there's right. not a thing we can do about any right. of this, right? right? I mean, if they come down and destroy us, they come down and destroy us. You know? Right. So we're, uh, we're still, we still worship a God yeah. that can handle all this. Right. Absolutely. They created all of it. Well, and he created, yeah. right. So. If, especially if they, the sons of God mean fallen angels, right? They were they were once up there, but yeah. they just got kicked out with, with Lucifer. So, um, really, there is, very interesting. Uh, also, on the pyramids, there's theory that the pyramid yes. that, that the aliens were here before and built the pyramids, and the uh, there's a structure was in the South America uh, there's another similar to the pyramids, mm-hmm. but they have very their symbols on those. That are mm-hmm. almost exactly alike. Tucker Carlson talks about that yeah. a lot. He's like, yeah. "Why aren't we asking how the pyramids were built and right. what all the right. etchings or carvings are on what them?" They call hieroglyphics or whatever. Right. But uh, yeah, it's I've saw you know, like you said, you, you don't know what to believe anymore because you see so much stuff now that you don't know what it's, and that's the whole ga- uh, game of propaganda is right. throw a bunch of crap and then somebody will believe some of it you know yes. that's what that's what they do yes. so but you see the same symbols i mean they're identical mm-hmm. it's like how would the people in egypt know what the people in south america were doing right. near you know th- thousands of years before christ was ever here so mm-hmm. it's amazing really i mean you can't explain it i mean if it's true what i'm seeing and like i said i don't know what you can believe anymore they've thrown so much stuff at us yeah. but if they had a delorean like they I had said. a delorean you could go back <laughs> go it all goes there back go. to the delorean and, and yeah so yes. get on the internet <laughs> Go back. <laughs> right. Take a picture. Yeah. Go back. Yeah. I just find this all so interesting. And um, I just find it. I, the it the thing I find the most interesting, though, is that how much it's being talked about right now. I think it is. In- it is. You're right. Because why did it die down from the 70s? Right. You know, it, 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 yeah. it kind well, of went away. Well, and now it's right? like being taken uh, seriously by yeah. so many. Like right. back in the day, back then, I think. Uh, there was this contingent of people that was like all in, but most people, yeah. like you said, 
thought they were oh, nuts. Exactly. They were never nuts. wanted to say. Now yeah. there are yeah. so many people that like, yeah, there's yeah. something going on. Right. So right. I, I find that interesting too. One thing that I find interesting is your sweater. Can we talk about that before we go? Oh, yes, absolutely, yeah. (laughs) Can we talk about that before we go? Now, is this your handwriting here? It is. So I I crocheted this onto this sweater. I got the sweater at the Goodwill. Okay. Of course. I I, I, I go shopping at the Goodwill. That's good. And uh, this is kind of a new trend is where they crochet words onto a sweater like this. And so I wanted to have one of my own. And so I decided Perry's nickname for me has always been Shorty. Well, nowadays, all the kids say shoddy. So it's shoddy. Shoddy. So that's that's what I put on my sweater. It says shoddy. Yeah. So S-H-A-W. T-Y. Shoddy. Shoddy. Yeah. I like it. That's that's nice. I don't know why he nicknamed me shorty, but... it's what yeah, it, yeah, yeah. 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 it doesn't make any sense, no. really. Uh, <laughs> no. Maybe he's an alien. Maybe <laughs> uh, it could be. <laughs> Maybe when you step off that uh, chair, chair, we'll, we'll figure find out, out why. shortly what happened. <laughs> we'll find out shortly. Shortly. <laughs> yep. Very good. Yep. Uh, yeah, go. I like it. That's good. Thank yeah. you. That's good. Good stuff. Good well, fun, interesting conversation. Yeah. Comment below and let us know what you think. Are there aliens, mm-hmm. or are they spirits, or do you think all of it's do you week, think we're crazy? We'll talk I don't about know. one time again. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the first second. Thanks so much for joining us on this Friday. If it's God's will, we'll be back here with you next Friday for another edition of WCSM General <laughs> Store.